find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. I'm hungry, spark, but I ain't starving yet. Chain for the pain, cocktail, dollar set. Never said I was a gangster or a thug, but I'm an animal. Pizza for the taste of the pizza. Hey guys, this is the Indie Mayhem Show episode uh, 116. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter video producer for International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, and so much more over at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, no, I don't produce everything over there, but we are uh, doing a lot of great stuff and, and helping uh, get some uh, pro wrestling out to the masses with me. One of those guys uh, helping with some uh, pro wrestling for the masses is the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling and good friend of uh, Chris Hero. He is Eamon Payton at Eamon to please on the Twitter. See, there are these random people that I work with. I see, and like, I'm good friends with that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've worked with them. You've like, you know, you've eaten sandwiches with with Chris Hero or something. You know, Specifically Chipotle. Chipotle. So you've eaten Chipotle with Chris Hero. That's better than Johnny part. Mundo stuff. I mean, yeah. you know. <laughs> Again, we're gonna act like that was a thing. Um, Completely. No, uh, <laughs> excited to be back. So excited to be talking about indie wrestling this week. I'm uh, excited to have you back. What? More specifically, I'm happy to have been here. Um, but no, <laughs> yeah, we're back. The internets are working again, and uh, and th- thank you so much, uh, Eamon, By the way, for taking over uh, 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 both of the shows last week. Actually, uh, it was a huge help. I mean, we did have a little bit of a, a glitchiness going on, uh, but it's nice to know that the show was in great hands. I was listening to the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, uh, I finished li- w- listening to it while on the plane to Tennessee, so uh, uh, I, I did appreciate that as well. So, oh, uh, you can check out this and everything else ever at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and now on Google Music. Uh, so if you have an account there in the web browser, it'll be on the apps very soon. But look for the Indie Mayhem Show. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page because they just put stick those podcasts at the bottom of the page no matter what you search for. And you can find us and subscribe and, and share it with your friends. And, and I recommend you to go there and look up all your favorite podcasts. This, others, Should I Drink That, are good friends. Um, uh, and you'll probably like them too. Uh, and, and just uh, you know, give that little boost, that little initial boost and, and hopefully help them get discovered by more people as, as they start to get on Google Music. All right? Uh, all right. Also, you can drop us a line to 412-206-WMS0 at goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Let us know uh, who we should be talking to if you have questions for any of our upcoming guests that we may have announced. I know we don't have any right on the agenda right now, except for uh, everything that we we have coming out of uh, uh, Night of the Superstars a couple weeks ago in Meadville, PA, with the International Wrestling Cartel. Um, and, uh, and, and, and you can join us here live, live at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. We like to say that we'll start at 10 p.m. Eastern time, but let's be honest we just talk about wrestling for way too long and uh and and that's just how it is um just having fun here on a tuesday night as we've done for uh, over uh, 500 tuesdays uh so with that amen we have some pretty good conversations this week i i have heard so uh one of these i know uh, riz has been waiting for one of these uh we did talk with uh uh rj city uh, who's been on uh this show you this show or the previous show? No, it was this show. Uh, no, it, was it was on. It was on Indie Mayhem show, but we caught up with him um, to uh, talk about about almost everything except for pro wrestling, uh, which was <laughs> a lot of fun. And uh, and uh, myself being bewildered after having switched the entire show uh, for Night of the Superstars, and then catching up with him and having a good conversation. I think um, we also talked with uh, Chris Larusso minutes after his match um, with Tatanka. The Native American Tatanka, yes, the Tatanka, and 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 I think I, I exclaimed, um, "Oh no, I wasn't on last week to talk about this show, was I?" Uh, no, you were we not. may have to catch up with that a little bit. I did talk about it on the Wrestling Mayhem show. No, I didn't even do that. I wasn't around. Uh, I, I just completely underestimated the the power of Tatanka at this show, <laughs> and of course Booker T. That's right. My mayhem wish has come true, and Booker T is on the show. Thank you, Matt Carlins and and, and Katie uh, Dutters uh, for um, um, helping us out. Please go follow them. Say hi. Thank them for bringing us these interviews at Katie Dutters and at Mainstream Matt One T on Twitter. Uh, so let's, get, without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, Booker. Uh, I gotta tell you, the energy out there was was was, was awesome. What was it like being out there tonight? Oh man, um, it was cool, man. Uh... 
I love uh, stuff like this, you know, this is where, you know, I pretty much started in the business um, over 25 years ago. And um, it was just like this, you know, a um, bunch of guys going out there wondering if we're doing it right or not. You know, we may have some veteran on the card, you know, we want to pick his brain all night, not let him leave, you know. It's no different, you know what I mean, the crowd, you know, um, they're supported, you know what I mean, they're diehards, you know, they believe in it, whether it's a big stage or, or not, or a high school. You know what I mean? So that's what the wrestling business has been built on for many, many years. And uh, that's what's going to keep it alive. Seeing, uh, being out there and seeing Keith and Remy win their tag titles for the first time, does that kind of take you back a little bit to the beginning of your Well, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a sense, you know what I mean? Uh, just watching them, um, how they felt, you know, when they won it. You know, I remember my first you know, tag team championship, Global Fe Wrestling Federation with my brother. All my family was there. And, you know, we won, you know, I mean, it was such an awesome night over, you know, Johnny Mantell and Hollywood Judd Tatum, you know, it was like an awesome, awesome night. We wasn't getting paid for like 75 bucks, but <laughs> we was on top of the world, we was the Global Tag Team Champions, so I know exactly how they feel, you know, it was just, it's an awesome night uh, for you when you go out there and, you know, pull it off and, you know, to get the recognition from the company, no matter how big or how small, to get the recognition from the company that, hey, we want you to be our guys. You know, and that's what being the champion means. It means that you are representing the company. So right now, they are representing the company as tag team champions. And your spinneroni looked real good out there tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I had a setback. You know, my last spinneroni. You know, I was I, I crapped on it, and uh, I went back to my hotel room wondering if I had forgotten how to do the spinneroni. Or I, you know, at 51 years old, had caught up with me. You know what I mean? So I had to go out there tonight and redeem myself because I'm sure they got it. The one, you know, that last one all on Twitter and Instagram and <laughs> everything, and it was bad. So tonight, um, I feel like I was redeemed. Um, you got like a receiving line waiting for you backstage. All these people are trying to pick your brains. I mean, what does that mean to you? Um, that people come to you. You know, um, I'm a trainer. I'm a coach. I'm a teacher. You know, that's what I do. You know, I've had great, you know, time in the business, great success. You know, but I think what keeps the business going is uh, being able to pass it on, not being selfish, being unselfish. You know. Uh, just uh, you know, you know, keeping the business alive. You know, um, I love the business. You know, I've had a great career. Um, one thing about it, you know, you can't do it forever. You know, um, you know life goes in stages and, and seasons. You know, but um, for these young guys, man, right now they're in their summer season, man. So let's give it to them. Let them have, have some fun doing. It. I know you got a lot going on. You want to mention uh, where people can check out what you're doing, your school, um, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your Twitter, whatever else you got. Oh, uh, man, uh, they can uh, you know, check me out at realityofwrestling.com to see what my wrestling promotion is doing, of course. Um, they can uh, you know, check me out um, on Heating Conversation, you know, my podcast, my radio show, download the radio.com app. Um, you know, uh, we got a lot of stuff going on there. Follow me on Twitter at Booker T5X, Instagram Booker T5X. And, um, you know, just, you know, be a part of, you know, the movement. Um, you know, independent wrestling is getting bigger and bigger and stronger. And um, hopefully we can, um, you know, bring territorial wrestling back to the forefront like it was back in the day, you know, where all, all the wrestlers had somewhere to go and work. Um, you know, um, there was competition going on everywhere, you know. Guys' craft was, you know, off the chain when they finally made it to a WWE because they had been all over the world, you know. So I'm looking forward to, you know, trying to create that. So just go to realityofwrestling.com and, you know, come be a part of the movie. Thanks for the time. Right. Safe travel. We're here, Night of the Superstars <coughs> in Meadville, Pennsylvania for International Wrestling Cartel with Chris LaRusso. Just after his match against Tatanka, and what in the hell happened to you? Got tomahawks half to death. Oh man, that was uh, that was a surreal experience. And uh, I remember thinking, uh, you know, I mentioned it a couple times on Twitter before the, the uh, show that. Uh, one of my vivid childhood wrestling memories was uh, WrestleMania 9 and Tatanka going up against Shawn Michaels for the Intercontinental title. And uh, it was one of my, one of the few times I remember as a kid, like really looking forward, like, oh, I, I really want to see this match. I really want to see what happens. And, uh, and to wrestle somebody, you know, when you're nine years old and you're watching it on pay per view and then to be in the ring with them is, is really surreal. Um, you know, I heard the fans chanting, you still got it, and uh, I, I concur. He's, he, he, he's just as, as good as he ever was. Did you get a chance to see him at uh, WrestleMania last week? It was kind of funny. I was, watching, I was watching Mania with a bunch of my friends, and, you know, it was getting late into the show. I think that once we got to the, you know, if you consider the pre-show and everything. So I'm, you know, starting to, to zone out a little bit, and somebody goes, dude, is that Tatanka? <laughs> 
Oh, warming shit. up for you. Yeah, and I remember thinking, like, holy shit, that is, <laughs> holy crap, that is Tatanka. And uh, yeah, that was that was crazy. Just a week ago, he was wrestling in front of the biggest North American crowd ever, and he's here tonight at Night of Superstars wrestling me. That's so crazy. Um, I'm sure you've been at this for a while, so I'm sure you've wrestled some older wrestlers before, but like, what's that dynamic like, and what's it like interacting See, the, with them in, the, in that way? I mean, there's there's always, you sometimes wonder about if there's going to be a generation gap, if there's going to be a, uh, you know, as, as people get older, sometimes they slow down, sometimes the, the playbook kind of shrinks a little bit, and you have to be cognizant of that at times. This was not one of those times. And, you know, I felt like he was he was going just as hard and just as fast as, as I was. And that was really kind of remarkable. Uh, you know, he's, he's been, you know, it was WrestleMania 9, it was how many years ago at this point. And uh, he's still going strong. Um, I was talking to you earlier about the, some of the good things that are happening for you involving Ring of Honor. You want to bring us up to speed on what's going on with them? Sure. Uh, you know, I've been, been talking with Ring of Honor. Things have been really good. I got to work down in Nashville for uh, national TV tapings, wrestling against Red Dragon. Uh, I'll probably be heading down to Bristol for the next Ring of Honor camp. Uh, that'll be next week. Um, and there's, you know, there's talks about uh, the Stage AE show in September. There's a lot of really good things going on with with Ring of Honor, and they're really making some moves too. Their relationship with New Japan, uh, you know, st starting to, to sign, lock down some of their their really solid talent. I'm, I'm very, very impressed, and a lot of my friends are starting to get some opportunities there as well. So it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's a it's a good time, a good time to be Chris LaRusso. Yeah. Um, this is something we kind of try to ask a lot of the people that we talk to. What um, what are you watching when it comes to wrestling right now? What, what, are, you, what are you into? Um, right now, I'm trying to watch as much as I can. NXT is obviously, uh, you know, really, really setting the bar. And the Nakamura, uh, Sami Zayn match I thought was was really excellent. You know, probably the best match of the year so far. And excuse me. And it was one of those situations where. You know, it was a match you never thought you would see. It was a match that you never really thought that you'd have a chance to uh, to witness. And then to see it, and to not only see them, but deliver on such a level was really, really, really remarkable. Yeah, it was an awesome match. Mm -hmm. um, tell everybody where they can find you online, Twitter, Facebook, all that uh, stuff. Facebook, Chris LaRusso, at Chris LaRusso on Twitter. Um, you know, you can get, uh, catch me, bring, uh, International Wrestling Cartel, uh, Black Diamond Wrestling, um, Ring of Honor Wrestling, and uh, NWA Midwest. Else that I'm missing right off the top of my head. Uh, I've worked for Phoenix Pro, I've worked for uh, a bunch of uh, organizations in the area, and if you would like to see Chris LaRusso in your hometown, just talk to your local wrestling promotion. I'm sure that we can work things out in a completely, completely mutually beneficial way. Chris, thanks a lot. Thank Good you, Mike. Go, are we on? No, no, now you are. Now you are. Not, wait, you can interview so. that. Oh, that's Michael me? Soar. Oh no. Do you know Michael Sorg from Wrestling Mayhem? Are you, gonna, yeah. are you gonna be Riz? I'm fine. Oh man. You know, I'll get man, he's funny on Twitter. I'll tell I'll if he's on the show, right? Yeah, he's on the show. That's not that this show. Are we on? Yeah, is he, he's on your Can we just talk about Riz? Yeah, because like he's funny on Twitter. Like Riz, like I like his stuff. Yeah. yeah. Favorite it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, comments on stuff. You know he has a YouTube channel now. Yeah. In person as a human being though, just like blah. Like what? Why is this potato moving? It's the weirdest <laughs> thing. It's so okay. And then the and then I understand the value of technology. Now. Yes. Where would this guy be without the internet? If it was in the 50s or the 60s, and he had to go to the sock hop and go to a diner with a girl, can you imagine that? You know, Riz used to be a worse talker too. Wow. We brought a lot out of him. Yeah, my fair lady. Uh, you did a really. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, and it was, I was shocked to, to find that you guys have the same birthday. We do? Yeah. I, you, I did not RJ, and Riz are the I same know who birthday. Else. Uh, I Nelson Mandela, <laughs> July 18th, uh, Al Snow, and um, Buzz Aldrin. Okay. Because you know all those three, and me, and Riz. The it, five it of sense. us are going to get in a car, and we're just going to drive. We're going to get on a shuttle and get to the moon. Which is also often, July 18th, is often Bastille Day. I don't know about still. I think day. it's like the French. Is this a Canadian thing? Day. No, no, no. French. Fourth of July. French Fourth of July. It's the French Fourth of July. Yeah. French Fourth of July. Um, it's like the the French, fr like France and French Quebec is like two, it's like Spain and Mexico. You know what I mean? Okay. Are they speaking Spanish? Yes. <laughs> Do they like each other? Probably not. Is is one perhaps? <laughs> 
culturally a little more loose than the other? I'd say so. Okay. Um, I'm learning a lot here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning a lot. Does one have issues with the country it's attached to? Yes. Um, that whole thing. Okay. Let's talk about, and uh, uh, I'll say, it, you know, Trump, uh, Bernie. No, no, you're, you're from north of the world. Let's talk about it. I mean, we, do you get a lot of that, like, news about that? We like, are watching it, we are laughing at it, and we're going, people are saying now, as small talk, like a waitress at a diner I was at, it was like, blah, 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 small talk about whatever, and it's like, at least we don't have to vote for Trump. Like, we're, it's a punchline now. People are just like, it, it ends small talk. It's now like, because we're so sick of like, oh, this weather, oh, it's still selling. Now it's just like, oh, you know it's what? Trump. It was, it was a punchline until we realized like, wait, the, wait, people might actually vote for this. Yeah. 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 But I'll tell you something. This wrestling show was great. It was. It was a great it show. Was. It was. It was a wonderful you know, show. It was the best there show. There were no politics. I have a lot of friends in IWC. There's no IWC is a great promotion. It, and I tell you, we're not gonna have six matches. We're not gonna have seven. We're gonna have ten matches. Okay. They don't. We're gonna have ten here. matches. Okay. And believe me, IWC is going to pay for all the matches. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna why you want you know what other promotions? They get them matches from China. Okay? okay. We're not gonna do that, okay? Okay. They're gonna be American matches, they're gonna be made here. Even if they stink, you're gonna cheer for them, you're gonna like them. We even had a Native American match. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. And I, I think that's great. Uh, because for so long the the one percent of the natives they don't they don't get as high as they should. There's a ninety nine percent of wrestlers, we can think about it. There's ninety nine percent of wrestlers are one percent it's just Native American. Right. Right? And it's unfair with the 99% and the 1%. And there's like one tenth of 1%. Mm -hmm. It's Tatanka and he's at the top of the card. That's not right. Right. You gotta spread the wealth. Spread uh, I don't do Hillary, so that's out. She's not as exciting. Right. Um, Sorry, Hillary. I do, I do a Ted Cruz. Uh, I, I put a big piece of ham in the backyard and just watch it wilt over weeks. <laughs> <coughs> Um, you know, this is the most politics we've ever had on the show since we had Chuck Roberts on. Ted Cruz looks like he's made of gack. <laughs> Do you remember? Remember, he looks like Face from Nick Jr. Hey there, Face. Man, you know it's just his face. You know what I mean? It was just like a face drawn on colors, and the colors were changed. Okay. That's what it looks okay. like. I I feel like Ted Cruz does his like stump speech, and at the end he should say, "Stay tuned for Bear in the Big Blue House," and I'd be like, "Okay, I'll watch it." Okay. Hey, speaking of, we can talk, uh, since we never got too much Nickelodeon in my country, The Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah! Oh my god! Yeah. And it looks like that that was a game show. Like, I know they're doing like an Angry Birds movie. I'm like, nobody cares. And they did a Battleship movie. I'm like, nobody I'm like, no, there is so much more to Legends of the Hidden Temple. There's so much to expand upon at that point, right? Oh, I want to yeah. know! And Kirk Fogg is in it with his mm. EMS wardrobe, which is the best. Which is the best. And I used to love when like the temple guards came out and you could maybe catch a glimpse of like a white sneaker and you know they smelled of like cigarettes when they grabbed the kids. Like that was cool. Okay, so that, that one's coming out, but of all the game shows over the years, and again maybe not seeing them so much yeah. when you're younger, what are, was one of the like what is one of the great old game shows you think could turn into a movie that they should hit on next if this one hits a big like are we gonna see oh. a double dare movie, Nick Arcade? Uh, like what are you thinking? Card and, sharks? Card Sharks was great. I don't know that. It, it, it was great. It used to be like, it was an adult game show. And they used to show you a card. You have to, used to guess like, 20 people, um, do you, what do you think 20 people said? Uh, are, are women very attracted to men or less? And then you say like, very or less? And then, oh, you're right. And then you get to pick a card. And okay. then you have to pick whether the next card is higher or lower. And it's higher. All right, $20 higher. And oh, and then they were giant playing cards. Talk about a novelty. Okay. Um, you could do something with that. I would say Guts. Guts would make a comeback. Man, that was sad. Oh, what was the thing that You watch a kid get stuck in the, the wave uh, pool there? What was, the, what was the thing, the Cryag or something? The Crag? The, the crag. Agro no, crag. crag. The Agro Crag. Yeah, yeah. let's just uh, scale this mountain. We'll blow some uh, smoke in your face. So much more you can do with that than yeah. Battleship. Yeah. You don't have to make up as Guts, much as you did the for whole thing. Yeah. Double Dare was great. That big nose. The family Double Dare, of course. Can't Nick Arcade was really before its time. Yes. With the green yes. screen technology. And the kids had no concept of how it worked. 
Like that was obvious. And then the guy, the host, would be like, "You gotta get the coins. You gotta get the coins. Go back to the start button. Go back to the start button." And they didn't understand. And I'm sure they had people on the side going, "Go back." Yeah, they're like, like, they're like a giant screen in front of them. Like, I want to see like how that works. With the silver monkey. All, yeah. All the three pieces have to be facing the same way. Jonathan, Jonathan, all the three pieces. I got one for nope. you. You need the top. You need the top. We're out of time. You just won the Casio. Do you remember Finders Keepers? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. The big, giant house. Let's make a big and messy just fill house. Stuff. Uh, was that was that yes I remember or well you have one minute left? No, I love okay, that show. let's make it short. Um, <laughs> we're going. We're talking about as many game shows. You have thirty-four as we minutes. By the way, Eamon <laughs> is not going to know any of these because he's like oh like What's, fifteen. Sorry, Eamon. Eamon, the other guy on the show. What's his full name? Uh, Eamon Payton. That's a uh, the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling you know out there in Texas. That's a uh, that's like a Jerry Lewis name. Eamon Payton. Oi, you can't say Eamon. You can't say that's it. going to be his ringtone. Eamon Payton. Oi, you know. You can't say it without. Pleasure to meet you, Eamon Payton. Eamon Payton. You can't not say that. No. Another one, uh, Matt Taven. Who you know from Ring of Honor. Hey, he was here uh, last year before. Yeah, yeah. Matt yeah he's Taven. been here a couple of times, Matt Taven. Uh, you know. So, thank you. So, um, uh, uh, well, this has been fun. This has been great. It's been great to have you back yes, on the show. Yes, thank you. This is the RJ City Fun Time Hour. I'm here with Michael Sorg. Is that yes. it? Just Sorg? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Why are you uh, disappointed by that? And Teriz, I'm, I'm proud of you, uh, I'm fond of you, but please stay in front of your computer. All positive. Uh, actually, it's, it's done a lot. Um, my best friend, uh, Dave, met his wife pretty much through the, through the Mayhem show, uh, which I brought him on. Because he's a friend of mine, and I was a friend of Will's, and we were already doing the show, so I thought, you should come on too. And it, it went from there. Um, I've met a lot of really cool people. I've done a lot of really cool stuff. I've gotten into more wrestling than I knew was available. And uh, made some really good friendships through it all, too. So, yeah, it's, it's done wonders, actually. We are back. Indie Mayhem show. Uh, having fun here. Great. Great interviews. Once again, thank you so much to Matt Carlins and and, uh, and Dutters for uh, hooking that up, and uh, and I'm running around and and and, and uh, getting uh, evading security at uh, Meadville High School and uh, getting those interviews for us. Uh, no, really, no. Uh, Justin the Plumber and everybody, really great and accommodating, and and uh, really great that they let us uh, roll back there and uh, hang out with the guys and, and get some great talks. Uh, great chats with them. Uh, great crew out there at International Wrestling Cartel. IWCWrestling.com, and of course, you can get the digital download of uh, the Night of Superstars 5, and all the past ones are available. Guys like Mick Foley, uh, Roddy Piper, uh, Rest in Peace was a part of one of them, uh, Bret Hart, uh, Ric Flair, some great, great names over the over the past few years. Uh, over at IndieWrestling.us DVD, coming soon of this past one. So I, no, but, so I wasn't on last week to talk about the show, Eamon. Um, no, you were not. Uh, for uh, for reasons you, you were you were battling the internet gods. I was battling the internet gods, um, but no, I, I always love these shows, and they are like legitimately the biggest. Like I, I know last year they reported like fourteen hundred people. Um, mm. I don't know what the number was this 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 year, but definitely still the, one of the bigger the biggest crowds that we they see for for that I'm at for indie wrestling, uh, attending or otherwise. You know, and it's not freaking WWE, right? Um. And it's always great. I don't get a lot of chances to interact with the the big names. I did get to say two words to Booker T. Uh, actually, Matt Carlin said more, and uh, he was telling us about the drive and the windy roads. Uh, it was very pleasant. Uh, so, so I mean, I mean that was and that was about the extent of it for the most part. Um, but and and. and but generally, it's it's really cool. And as I was reading some stuff, I, I didn't realize some of the things like, um, you know, the stars uh, uh, donated uh, in most cases the the proceeds from their pictures to to this to the high school um, as part of this because this is a big fundraiser for them every year. Um, I know, you know, whatever. I I don't understand all of the the mechanics and logistics and financials of a show or wrestling shows in general because I, I don't get how this works half the time. Um, but I'm also not a good money person, so who knows? Uh, but um, you know, it's always a big time. You know, it, it's always a ton of people there. I can't spend a lot of money on wrestling, right? Um, and and always a really cool vibe. And it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of fun. It was a it was a very fun show. Um, you know, guys, you know, big surprises, guys like Tatanka, 
who one was late, uh, very late, and, and it had to be a lot later in the show than intended um, because of a uh, flight delay. You know, it happens. Yeah. You know, um, was uh, I, I, I? And I said this uh, on the other show or somewhere. I, I probably on Facebook. I cannot have underestimated the power of Tatanka. The line at intermission, because he wasn't there for the meet and greet, down the hall, which means probably like a lot of people didn't didn't catch the Abyss Monsters Ball match with Bolin. Mm. Uh, you know, things like that. Um, to, not to mention, uh, I believe it's Darren De Niro, friend of the show. He's been on on here, right in here on the couch, um, showing a picture of him, like I think when he was nine or something with Tatanka. And now he was on the same show with him that night. Chris LaRusso, oh, yeah. you just heard, talked about his, you know, memories of Tatanka and ha- being able to work with him and how that guy can go, you know. And he doesn't look any different than he did, you know, a couple years ago when we saw him on SmackDown on a pretty regular yeah. basis, right? And hell, he was at WrestleMania, guys. Um, Jesus. So, I mean, that that was the biggest kind of surprise for me. Um, Abyss is always a great guy to see on a show. Um, and you know, uh, poor, poor, poor Bowen. I think you guys, have, a lot no. of you guys have seen the video on indie wrestling.us, the table that did not break after four or five attempts. Was it, you know, uh, correct me in the, uh, in the chat room, uh, but, you know, things like that. Um, uh, geez, who else was on the show? Shelton Benjamin taking on Darren De Niro. There's a great picture of De Niro, uh, taking a powder on the outside saying how he was, uh, uh, contemplating his life choices. Uh, you know, everybody was cool. Didn't hear about anybody having any problems. Nobody Scott Steiner did. Uh, it was a, a great night. Go check that out. Support, you know, support in, in indie wrestling like these guys are. And, you know, great conversations, of course, with Scott Hall, Booker T this last couple of weeks. And we see have another, uh, lineup of, uh, of conversations coming up next week. I know, uh, I'm going to mess up the name. Deanna Perrazzo is going to be part of that and, uh, and, and kind of the cleanup of everybody else we talked to, including BC Steel. Who uh, I I have not had enough conversations with BC Steel, but um, uh, we need to have more here on the show, um, and you'll find out why. I think a little bit. Um, I think all the good parts are in the interview we actually recorded. <laughs> <laughs> you never know at these things, you know. Uh, you, you have the time I turn the camera off, and then the really good conversation starts. You know, I've had that. You know, over the weekend when we're doing our thing down in Tennessee, that was at a Baja. Uh, thing we were filming and and the baron corbin you know of course a couple months ago was like i wish we recorded the rest of that conversation because that was good stuff right there uh or half the times when we have people in here as well you know everybody says what they really wanted to say uh but anyways that's enough about that amen i was showing you something here on the break yes you are sorry um so i mean i tried i was like i'm in tennessee like i know i'm on the on the other side of tennessee from Memphis, right? I, I, I embarked, disembarked um, last Wednesday, um, day after the internet gate <laughs> that we had. Actually, 6.30 in the morning, I had to leave, right? And I get out there, and I'm, and I'm doing my searches, and I'm like, I got to find. This is Tennessee. I have got to be able to find some pro wrestling around here. You know, I'm like, I think I'd be done with whatever work I'd have to do in time. I could I could drive to even if it's like a couple of towns away. There has got to be some pro wrestling around here. Right. Right. Eamon, you would think. Oh, you found it. I mean, I, well, 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 no, I found it too late was the problem. So I searched for stuff. All I could find was some some wrestling promotion that hasn't done a show since like 2013. It says closed on the Facebook page. It said closed on the Google listing everywhere. Yeah. I couldn't find anything, man. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just searching Cookville, Tennessee, Tennessee wrestling. What? I can't find anything. Just, just blowing my mind. And, and I, I went to like, this is the town where TNA lives, right? Um, I, I drove up to the Tennessee fairgrounds, you know, where, where the asylum was. Uh, I, I took the, the meme picture in front of the TNA offices, even went to go find where the new TNA offices were. Right. <laughs> that was a really interesting result as well. It was like this shack in a field by an oil refinery. I'm like, this can't be it. But that's where the GPS made me stop. I think it was I think it's the ha- the building behind the Dollar General across the street. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's legitimately like they're right by a Dollar General. Um, so there you go. Well, you know, what I'm talking about you have Dollar Generals down there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK. OK. I just want to make sure that, that, that this was universal I, I, I'm talking about here. But I'm looking for wrestling. And what I end up with is this poster I found Monday morning 
Um, it's dated for uh, the Saturday night before, so I, I definitely missed it. Right, there's about halfway back to Nashville from where I was, which is about an hour, hour twenty uh, date out. And I just thought, you know, uh, apparently uh, Lebanon, T- Tennessee is. I don't know if that's where I was, but that's where this event was uh, supposedly held. And you see a familiar face. I saw him on, at a uh, night of the superstars, of course, uh, just the week before up in Mevo's. We we're just discussing Jeff Jarrett. Okay, cool, cool. King of the Mountain against first class Justin Granberry. Granberry. Cranberry? Cranberry. Cran- no, yeah, you're right. It is Cranberry. That uh, is Cranberry. Uh, with Mr. G at April Armageddon 2016. I think that says uh, presented by Top Rope Wrestling and Global Force. Not Global Force Cold. I want to make that clear. Um, <laughs> so I, I I just, I, I we, we kept looking at this as I'm like, hey, this is the trailer I found. And I'm just like, you know, I I don't know. I don't know about this poster. I don't, other than Jeff Jarrett being on it, is this something, oh, I found their Facebook page, by the way. Um, oh, and here it is in color. Okay. All right. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Not in, not in color. How? <laughs> somehow I feel like the colored image would make this worse than no, it let's, is. No, let's keep it black and white, which means design for black and white guys, if that's all you're going to be able to do. All, all seats, 10 bucks. I really missed out on this one. So, so I mean, we're, we're breaking it down. It's at the Wilson County Fairgrounds on 11 Tennessee address, blah, blah, blah. All seats, $10. Kids, it's five and under free. I'm sure I could pull that off. Um, Rockhead. There's no verses. There's just like some other people on the poster. Rockhead Ray Spears with Flamingo. Which is some... God, I... Right, hold I, on, I don't hold like on. to be like these people don't look like wrestlers. No, but. not terribly. Like, 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 like Jeff is the one because I know what Jeff looks like. Let's be, you know, and 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 uh, let's see. Uh, Buzz Dup is is the other fellow on here, and then there's a picture in the middle with uh, Matt Douglas and Shorty, and I'm like, well, okay, what are these guys? Right, I don't know if they're wrestlers or they're, you know, what 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 is this? But then you look at the sponsors at the bottom. One good good on them. They have a ton of sponsors on here. You got the <laughs> Southern Kitchen. They got Donut Time, which is apparently a big deal down there. Uh, Ed's something something. I can't read the thing on the left. I can't read that thing in the blue either. Uh, or well, the, the thing under uh, Flamingo, I guess. Um, Cruise Tire Service and Shorty's Auto Sales. Things are coming together for me right now. Okay, yeah, at I mean, this point. I, the thing struggling wrestling promotions out there. I mean, what what are you guys doing wrong? These guys have like eight sponsors. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I'm trying to figure out like like okay, IWC has a lot of sponsors, but you know for for Meadville, but again, that's like a a benefit show, right? Um, RWA is on sponsors for again a benefit show under Salute the Troops, right? Like I feel like, I, listen, and again, I don't know the financials, but. And I don't know the, the, all this stuff, but I just came from an event where, like, lunch for 1,200 people was sponsored by Honda. One day. And Caterpillar, the next day. And this and that, you know. Right. And if you're a wrestling promotion that is RW, IWC, that gets two to 300 people on a regular basis, and this is a broad, broad thing, not just them, you know, or VOW or whoever else. Like, I feel like you could get sponsors. Now, I'm also the person that can't figure out how to get sponsored for my podcast. But so I'm not the person. I'm not. I'm not a salesman. Okay, I and I know that's what you need as a salesman. Maybe that's the thing that's missing. But live pro wrestling in 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 Lebanon, Tennessee, has figured this out. You know, okay. And I'm looking. I'm looking at some pictures. And you know, you always put the best representative picture on your Facebook. And I think RWA's got them beat. Oh, yeah. Maybe not Code Red Wrestling, but RWA's got them beat. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I this, is a, this is a barn. <laughs> <laughs> and we've lost David. <laughs> Listen, we... I don't want... I feel like I'm writing these da- these guys down. I don't mean to. I honestly oh, don't. Please, sword, please. I I don't want to be the negative uh uh deal, but but, but top rope wrestling in in uh, Lebanon. Sword. Uh, all I gotta say is welcome to the south. Well, is it? Is this how it is? Is this? Is no, this? It's not really how it is in Texas. But I mean, but but like, is this like? 
like you, we've we've had these conversations in the past about these representative. And here's a picture on the live stream for you guys um, of of their Facebook and and the and the again that highly representative image at the top, right? Um, um, that is a big HVAC unit right in the middle of. Okay, never mind. Uh, but but um. I mean, is this is this what you're talking about? Like a little bit when you're talking about these promotions that you've experienced in in at least your region. And again, you're like, this is the South. Yeah, like, this is basically the South. Okay. Well, um, I don't know if it's just the South. I mean, I I probably you could probably see these kind of once in I I the best way to put it like once in a while, like that style. I guess best way I could put it. Uh, companies everywhere probably mm-hmm. but uh i don't know i i find that they're just a little more in the south but that's just me yeah um it, and I'm, I'm sure there's no like wrestling commission or athletic commission or anything to speak of yeah there isn't really so. like uh, ohio <laughs> doesn't oh wait this 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 dude um uh shorty and this other dude is on this poster as well i i'm getting to the bottom of of, of <laughs> michael douglas and shorty or wherever the hell his name is shorty what are you what are you what are you trying to tell shorty us? what are you doing what is is this like a local celebrity and i just want to point out that guy's got the same exact star tattoos as uh bobby beverly uh, what is the deal there do they mean something or is that the one that's like always what's displayed at the tattoo shop um we love you bobby beverly we need to get him back <laughs> on the show where's bobby beverly these days holy shit uh but anyways uh, sorry you were saying no i i, I mean I, I like i said i do think that happens everywhere but i think we've talked to promoters and, and even some wrestlers on the show about how you know one of the worst things in wrestling i guess on an independent level is that everyone can run a show basically like if you have enough money to get a ring yeah and a place you can run a show man man i don't know i don't know what to think about this i just think that's amazing that that show is apparently co-branded with global force wrestling as a, at least a, according to the poster well I, so they're um, they really love their their global force deal because they had jeff Jarrett back in february 6th right just for a, a pre-show meet and greet and then in like march 4th fifth or sixth they had um a battle royal to determine his his opponent um on yeah on march 5th you know i'm i'm, I'm which a, obviously was the the grand oh area. there's video i found video oh no here we go tna tennis nwa tennessee heavyweight championship battle royal oh no that ring is tiny that is so tiny that guy looks like a wrestler though um <laughs> wow is that this guy looks like a even paler Shirley Doe. <laughs> and, and brother, I, I respect Shirley Doe. He is a Pittsburgh uh, 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 um, local legend, I'd say. But uh, this, this. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. We're going. This is a great podcast. Me watching Facebook video. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I'm just kind of going down the rabbit hole here a little bit. Um, I, say I, I attempted and I would have given these guys a shot. And I have a feeling I would have had a really good time. Uh, I'm going to do some math and figure out how far this. I, I, I probably shouldn't. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a uh, top rope wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. My wrestling discovery. That and my story about Jerry Lawler just being named from, <laughs> from 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 Wrestling Mayhem show this week. Uh, Eamon, you are a part of elevating uh, pro wrestling in Texas. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> this is some big stakes, but okay, I'll take it. Um, I'll take yeah, it. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, really. I mean, uh, you're talking. We, we've had this conversation, like not to this extent for for these guys, you know, but like Texas wrestling had some kind of questionable uh, stuff there, right? For for a bit, yeah. and and yeah, and Inspire Pro Wrestling is revolutionizing and bringing an excitement that I think has not been there. Thank that, you, and it, and hopefully getting to showcase some of the talents that are here that are really spectacular, which uh, there's a lot. Um, but uh, we got a big event this coming Sunday uh, in Austin, Texas. If you want to check us out, uh, uh, it's our Splendor in the Smash event, which I'm very happy about with the title. <laughs> Uh, also, one of my favorite posters I think we've ever done. I need to pull um, this up now. But 
Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on this event. So, uh, so, so wait, it, well, hold on, hold on. I'm going to let you finish talking about the event, and then I'm going to do a poster breakdown on this one, much like I just did for Top Rope Wrestling in Tennessee. I, th- I think you'd like it. It's very, it's very nerdy. It's very, uh, the, I love the aesthetic of it. But uh, no, it's, uh, it's our event this Sunday at the Marquesa Holland Theater, which is in downtown Austin, Texas. Um, uh, a lot of really good stuff on the show. Um, um, uh, we got a, a tag team title match that we made of any with a, a mystery partner for a friend of the show, Terrell Tempo, uh, as he takes on Davey Vega and Tim Storm. Uh, uh, eight big matches. Uh, <laughs> also, if you've been following us on social media, um, uh, one of the things I'm most intrigued about is uh, uh, a couple of friends of the show, the Submission Squad, who we've had on uh, before, obviously, mm-hmm. Evangelistico. We've had on multiple Sorgatron Media uh, uh, shows. Uh, in the past, uh, him and Pierre Abernathy have taken Barrett Brown under his wing. And if you want to see what uh, what that's like, I, I suggest you check out our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Inspire Pro Video, uh, to see how uh, to see the lessons that uh, they've been teaching Barrett. And uh, uh, quite interesting stuff. Uh, uh, there's also a few cameos from some people you may recognize. So definitely go check that out. Uh, I thought I, I saw the thumbnail for this earlier today. And I thought the guy on the left was you. And I'm like, dude, you're working out. <laughs> when did you no. get the back tattoo absolutely not um but no definitely go check that out uh, uh really really funny stuff um also um if you're if you're listening to this podcast and you're local to austin which some of you may be uh uh this friday we actually have a really great opportunity uh to uh, uh get our name out there a bit uh uh on the local uh, kxan uh, a news program, uh, Studio 512, which is kind of like their lifestyle uh, uh, sort of uh, Austin-related show. Uh, Inspire Pro Pure Proceeds champion Keith Lee and Steve Arena, who are also two friends of the rest of the Mayhem show, nice. uh, will be on to talk about Splendor in the Splat. Spend- God, I can't even talk. Splendor in the Smash, which I'm very excited about. It'll be cool to get that kind of you know mainstream exposure we're, di- I'm, we're dipping into matt carlin's world the world of mainstream media so um uh, that will be this friday and i know i know the show's airing at 12 30 p.m uh, uh central time so uh definitely go check that out as well i got it but i am i'm sorry I'm, I'm all over your facebook page right now but am i really seeing this and why haven't you not pushed this my way uh let's take parkour lessons with Uch underground's johnny mundo with uh, friend- and then for the show, Chris Chu Biz. Yeah, with Chris Chu Biz, this has got to be hilarious. Um, <laughs> it is, and it also fi- uh, filmed and edited by a uh, friend of the show, Ray Zombie. So, oh, jeez, uh, this is a friend of the show extravaganza, except for Johnny Mundo, uh, which <laughs> who is only a change. friend of me, according to Sword. Which is only a friend of he's he won't share his friendship with Johnny Mundo with the Indie Indi Mayhem show unfortunately but uh no but uh go check that out it's a really fun video uh, oh, it's for uh, chris true's uh oh. true to the game uh, uh did, web series uh, did somebody have to uh, visit the hospital or at least the med express uh, <laughs> out of this because i feel like that's the only way this thing ends <laughs> absolutely uh, um but yeah that, uh, that's some really fun stuff and like i said the events this sunday right. uh, in as, austin texas as promised i am going to look at this poster and uh wow uh is it the best it's it was a match card (laughs) you know i mean this is you know this has been the conversation as well is um because i know i know locally like do we have every wrestler on the card you know versus you guys have the entire card on the thing and i think it laid out very nicely this is more just the live pro wrestling um kind of although live pro wrestling is in the small text over there by the date uh i just want to point that out it doesn't have to be um because hey you never know what you know yeah yeah well what is this kind of thing uh we got masada uh, but i love i i like i, I think i've said multiple times that uh dustin Mance, who does our posters is amazing mm-hmm. uh delivers really cool stuff not only delivers posters but like uh like the logos for our events like our yeah. events kind of have their own sort of logos now which is really kind of cool yeah, yeah there's some real um, that, that, that there's a lot of um it's a different style and I, I gotta appreciate that you know and, and you know i i, I will i will uh, uh put over uh jesse the mark that does uh iwc and uh pwx and and even um absolute intense wrestling up in cleveland and uh, i think he's one of the best in the business but um but this is uh is a different direction i think for the for uh this kind of stuff too and uh yeah. and i think it's it's very fitting for you guys you guys get that i mean 
a little bit of that geeky slash um i i don't know if it's because of your area down there but i do get a little bit of like you know i get a little bit of that that el ray network vibe too you know but i i feel like that is that an austin thing like is that a a regional thing like this this kind of vibe i think this kind of stuff flies, I think, a bit more in Austin as opposed to like a San Antonio or something like that, where it's a yeah. bit more. Uh, like your logo good. doesn't look like a wrestling logo. Like, and, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that in a positive way. <laughs> oh no, 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 <laughs> like, totally. But, uh, but you know, just like that kind of stuff. I think that's kind of cool. So, and it's what makes you guys different again. And and, and, and and I mean, why I said, you know, you guys got a cool vibe. You know, beyond anything else, you're like you're like, yeah, okay, this is a cool thing happening here, and it doesn't yeah, look definitely. like everything else. So, um, I think it's a whole package thing, you know, uh, right. You know, wrestling groups, get somebody who knows how to do photography, get yes. somebody. And even if it's like, get a student, you know what I mean? Like get yeah, totally, there's some really good, Harvard everybody, movies. everybody I know that's involved artistically in this stuff. Like a lot of them start as I'm a student that want to do that wants to use my craft in an interesting way. Right. Right. Like I was like, I want to do a video. I, I, this this is boring what I do with my nine to five. I want to do this on the weekends. Right. You know, and, 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 and built to what we have. Right. Uh, our, our friend Ray zombie, you know, kind of like, I want to build this thing, you know, um, yeah. and, and get better. And, and that's the thing I love about us in particular is that a lot of people that are, you know, cogs in the machine and so to speak, didn't really have like necessarily wrestling experience. It was, they had experience from other realms and wanted to be involved in this, um, myself included. And I think that kind of aids it in a way because they contribute sort of a new, fresh look into things that, you know, sort of somebody who's been doing it for a long time may not necessarily have. Now, I mean, obviously people with experience in wrestling can contribute a great deal, but it's almost nicer to have somebody who can look at things from, let's say, a business perspective or a more writing creative perspective or mm-hmm. from, or you know, uh, uh, you know, like an image perspective and stuff like that. Um, that I think is really cool to have, you know, because it separates yourself from every other wrestling group that's running, I feel. Right, right. All right. Anything else going on? Uh, no, uh, that, like I said, the events this Sunday, uh, tickets are still available at inspireprowrestling.com uh, and they'll be available at the door as well on the day of the show. So mm-hmm. be sure to go check out Splendor and the Smash uh, and, and keep an update on everything that we're doing uh, on all our social media. Uh, Mystery Matt is in the chat room, and from my Tennessee talk earlier, he did say that the uh, only promotion covers, he's the guy, I, you know, he's the guy I should have asked. I don't yeah. know why I didn't think of it, but uh, uh, I want to find it on my own. Um, well, I think that's part of the exercise, too, right? I was like, I'm trying to do my part and find the local indie wrestling, and sometimes, sometimes there isn't. I mean, I mean, it's a big country. Yeah. But he says the only promotion he ever sees for around the Indies is Smoky Mountain in Kingsport, which is about four, four hours east of Nashville near the Virginia border. I, again, I was about an hour, hour and a half east of Nashville. So I definitely would not be up for that. I might as well, drove, right. I might as well have driven, driven home at that point uh, <laughs> after that. It's, I think it's about nine hours away. Uh, car, but a very simple flight, by the way. I enjoyed that. An hour, 20 minutes. Jeez. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Amen. <laughs> so good getting together once again, talking some indie wrestling with you. Yes, indeed, Sorg. On, I think that is the is that my first indie mayhem that I missed, maybe. Um, yeah, so it's it's good to have you back. It's, it's good, good to have you where you. Oh, are. good. Um, although I guess we can count the indie mayhem show one hundred because let's be honest, I really wasn't there. Um, you 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 were here, but you weren't. I mean, here. I was here, but I was somewhere else. Well, thank you so much, Eamon. And Eamon, too, please. Not Bert Legrand. He was here on the other show. <laughs> oh, the ghost. Oh, the Bert Legrand. ghost of Bert Legrand. Real OSBL on the Twitters. And ask him why he's so ghosted. Uh, Eamon, too, please, on the Twitters. Voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling. And a voider of Joe Dabrowski. Hey, I didn't avoid it. He was leaving. <laughs> He was leaving the event as soon as I came in in a rush. That and means somebody fun. probably owed him, or he owed somebody money. <laughs> He's wearing a very nice suit. He always is. It was it. Was it the devil suit? Was it the red oh, suit? He, I couldn't tell because he didn't have the jacket on. Or the mustard the red, suit. Because uh, he he wore the red suit to Meadville, and every time he went to sat down, I'm like Satan. <laughs> 
I don't know. It, it was just like it, it was just my reflective stuff. And then like the mustard suit is is just a sight to behold. So thank you so much at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Please check out uh, uh, IndieWrestling.us. Uh, we post the show over there and Wrestling Mayhem Show. And over on IndieWrestling.us, Indie Wrestling US, there is around the Indies with our good friend Matt Carlin's mainstream Matt Carlin's over there uh really good uh roundup of the weekend very multimedia visual uh any videos uh from the weekend and and i i know and appreciating um everybody that um um i i've noticed like people that are perhaps not wrestlers that have been um i'm noting that their their thing was included um you can't do well one we can't do the column without matt uh putting in the legwork there um and we can't do it without you guys getting great clips like that and put it out there and this is how that's supposed to work this is how you discover new things you know and 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 get you know get in the know and discover the next Sami Zayn, uh, uh kevin owens and everybody else we freaking talked about on wrestling mayhem show tonight um yeah. so i'm on, over on 516 uh so uh become if, part of that conversation we had a mayhem show three years prior Mm-hmm. We would have been talking about all these people. Listen, man, back in the day, and we're going on a ten- tangent, but back in the day, uh, early, early, early wrestling mayhem show, a DJ Lunchbox was telling us about some young chap named Samoa Joe. Like, you guys see this Samoa Joe? This, this guy, he's just mind blowing. He's just, just the best thing, best thing in pro wrestling right now. And then we started seeing him take on Kern Angle. And now we see him take on freaking Finn Balor, right? And just phenomenal matches. Uh, you don't know who your Samoa Joe's going to be. You know, and um, and uh, if you if you get into indie wrestling, uh, you you have that uh, that feeling that you'll only know when you're like, you know, that guy. I I, I bought a t-shirt off him. Like I said, I I, I talked to him at, at the show. I saw him in the ring, uh, uh, you know, ten feet from me. You know, uh, 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 you know, he, he stole my water or ripped up my sign or something. And now there he is in front of a hundred thousand people. You know, that is cool to say your guy made it up there. And, uh, and this, is, this is part of it. Part of this weird, cool thing that, uh, you know, as a fan or in a weird way, like some of us get involved in it. And that's what it is. Go support him. Oh. Oh. Joe is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.